Did you miss grandma pushing you on the swing? <laughs> Look, Blake. He is loving that. Whoa! Do you feel those sun rays? Oh, do you feel the sun rays? It's such a beautiful day. Good morning, you guys. I hope your day is as beautiful and amazing and as awesome as ours is going right now. Hey, Cal. Hey, little troublemaker. <laughs> is that your favorite store right there? This is the room. <laughs> yes, we are back at Lowe's and we are getting some awesome stuff for the house. What are we yes. get looking at today? I think we're just doing a bunch of things that we've been putting off, like pictures and frames. Yeah, fixing up the house a little bit. One thing that I love, but I also hate. Oh, <laughs> crash bang boo. <laughs> One thing I love but I also hate about coming to stores like this is you see so many cool things and you're like, I want those cool things, but you're like, I don't need those cool things. So you're in this conundrum of what you can do and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Right now I'm saying, Jared, you shouldn't do this. You don't want to spend that much money. You don't want to have that much fun yet, okay? You're just buying it because you think it's cool. Um, I just love that it's like, oh, we finally have our house. Yeah. We can like do whatever we want with it and mm -hmm. it's just fun. This is like my favorite store. I always liked coming here when I was little, but I didn't like how cold it was. I was always cold. Going yeah. To like a Home Depot or Lowe's. Mm -hmm. But it makes me excited for getting the backyard set up. I cannot wait until everything is ready to go. Everything is landscaped. The grass is in so we can have fun with the kids. And, like make something and build something in the backyard together. That's what I'm excited about. Well, today's garbage day and here I am again. One more time. Stomp in the trash. <laughs> Do we need to get another garbage can? I don't know. This is kind of ridiculous, but we did do a lot of cleaning this week So that's why I'm justifying this <laughs> oh. So yesterday we took Penny to the groomers as you guys probably saw and they asked us if we wanted to use this You know hair shedding removal shampoo called and I think it's called the Furminator I might be wrong because I've seen a lot of people talk about it in the comments But I, I'm almost positive it's called that um, and they say it just kind of helps get rid of the extra hair on the undercoat or something like that And I wanted to try it out and just see how it works labs are notorious for shedding So I just went outside and I brushed her I did notice a lot of hair not as much as normal like when I usually brush her there's like a good amount of, of hair in there. There wasn't as much there, but I think the biggest thing to take away from this is that it's just important to brush Penny and keep her on top of that when it comes to her hair maintenance, I guess. It's just keep the brushing up to date and doing that. I wanna do it daily. I, I don't think there's any harm in doing it daily, but I wanna keep the shedding down to a minimum. And that's the nice thing about here in the house, There, we haven't really noticed a ton of shedding. You know, she still has a lot of puppy hair, which doesn't shed as much as dog hair, adult dog hair. I just to stay on top of it but I wanted to give you guys a little update about how that shampoo worked but I think it also will take you know over some time for it to really really work they're back they're back they're back they're back they're back they're back <laughs> I think she is more excited to see you than anyone else <laughs> hi dad how are you good how are you good to see you good to welcome see you. home thanks <laughs> Okay, all right, time to put this down so we can get this girl under control. Yeah. What do you want to do? I'm going to go back and then we're going to Okay, yeah. let's see it. Go for it. Okay, Maybe ready. lay back. Do you want to lay backwards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Good Jackson, job. Jackson, guess what, guess what Jackson got today at school? What would you get today at school? Uh, Buck motorcycle. Like a, a blue gem jar. A blue gem jar? No, a gem! A gem for his jar. And why did you get the gem? Because I got it out of my jar and I hold it and I dropped it in my car seat like this. And my two fell down like this. It had so hard like this. Oh, ouch. Ouch, Jackson. He got a gem jar because he was a good boy. He That's was a good. A good listener, a good helper, so he got a gem for his gem jar. Oh, awesome. So I'm really happy for him. Yeah, especially with, you know, how gymnastics was. And this is good to have a, a good really, turnaround. Um, funny story that he just told me. I know. I, I understood half of that, but it was all funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you miss grandma pushing you on the swing? <laughs> Look, Blake. He is loving that. Whoa! He had us hold on to the Spider-Man balloon for safekeeping while he's having a good time. In this next clip, I'm gonna try and make you feel the most awkward you have ever felt watching somebody. <laughs> so I brought you to my toilet. Just kidding. But seriously, if you guys want to skip this part, you can. I'm going to be talking about um, cycles and the body. You guys know that Jared and I just got my IUD out and we are wanting to start to grow our family. I told you the other day that we bought ovulation tests and I have been taking an ovulation test every day since I got my IUD out. The reason why is I'm just gonna take one every day because I don't wanna miss it if it is positive because I know several people in my life, my family, a friend that um, they don't have any cycles at all, but they get in positive ovulation. So I'm going to keep taking that. It's been over two months since I had a cycle, so I am irregular, but I have been, I've had more cycles in the last year than I did before having Jackson. I would say I'm somewhat regular, even though I'm not, like it'll be like three months, two months, but at least there's something there, uh, which is really good news for me, I feel like. so. It's been about two months since I've had a cycle and the last few days I have definitely felt like I'm totally gonna have a cycle. Like my skin is breaking out, I have a lot of hormonal acne around my, I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but except my eyes, but I have like some redness, some more hormonal. Um, I'm really, really hot, like I keep getting like really hot. I'm very crampy, my stomach hurt today, like when Jared and I were driving, I said my stomach like just pins and needles around my stomach. What's another? I think that's about it. It's just how I feel. I'm like, I think that I'm totally gonna have a cycle any day now. And I have like a lot of feelings about this right now because right now for me, we're trying to get pregnant and all I want right now is a cycle. But then the moment I have a cycle, that would be the worst thing that will happen once I have a cycle. I don't want another cycle because I wanna be pregnant. And I know a lot of people feel that way. And I'm thinking a lot about Joan right now. She's our friend and she was one of the IVF grant winners. And I know that she had a little before she found out she was pregnant and it's just like all those emotions come back when I was pregnant with Calvin and we were and I started spotting but it was even more than just a little bit like I really thought like this is not good news and luckily that didn't turn out to be the, that case but it's just right now it's like that's all I can think about that's all I'm like hoping for it's like come on body come on do your thing do it right but We'll see, I'm very, I'm very hopeful and I really hope that I can see a smiley face one of these days. I think when Jared and I were trying, we had one positive smiley face and we were so excited about it, but um, it didn't work that time, but we did end up getting pregnant with Fimera, so hopefully we can do this on our own. This sits at the toilet every day and Jared um, saw actually yesterday for the first time, he's like, what is that? Is that a pregnancy test? I was like, no, it's an ovulation test and he didn't know that I had already started taking them, but we gotta get this going on. I'm very excited and I'm nervous. I'm nervous when I talk about it. I'm just more excited when it's by myself. Did you just say we've got to get this going on? <laughs> Don't judge me. That that wasn't an And you innuendo. should have a huge smile on your face. That wasn't an innuendo, but I just made it one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should we try the kids' shirt she's on? I think that'd be cute. Kay. I like these ones. And I love you. I love you. Could you tell I was a little nervous or jittery talking about that? I just we just put the camera away and I was like, I am sweating so bad right now. I'm sweating, like I'm nervous talking about it, like not with Jared, and it's weird because we talk about a lot of things, but it's just, I wanna talk about more than what I talked about trying to get, because I, I regret it. I wish I would have talked about trying to get pregnant with Jackson where I wish we would have filmed sooner because I would have loved to have gone back and seen me doing the Clomid, seeing like, like just how hard it was, you know? I really feel good about this. I think it's gonna be good, but I just wish that I would have talked about it more when I was pregnant with Jackson. Yeah. That I was think. our one regret. It's like, why didn't we film all the seven rounds of Clomid? Why didn't we film going to the other doctor for the first time? I don't know, maybe we were scared, maybe we just didn't even think about it. Well, we did. We had a camera. We just yeah. didn't do it. I didn't think we thought about vlogging as much as we did, you know? Oh. I wish we could, but we're doing it now. But that's, that's my matters. thoughts. And yeah. the next, I just want to, that's just, when I look back and I want to see and I want to hear myself. So some yeah. of you guys are interested and some of you are not, but I'm very glad that we are doing this yeah. for our family, for us to look back on. Yeah, and I'm glad we're doing it right now. You know, we, you, we talked about like regrets about not doing it, but yeah. we're doing it now. Yeah. That's what matters. So yesterday you saw that I was deep cleaning, spring cleaning the house. Today Jared is doing his office. My office is a freaking disaster. I so actually, I clean the house, but I never clean Jared's office. 
How does your job? <laughs> Actually, I have a few times, but I'm like, I'm doing the house. So everything, like the couches are vacuumed. All of the floorboards are wiped up. Like in the kitchen cabinets, like they look clean, which they are. But, like I went through and wiped them all up because there were some like fingerprints and dirt on there. We got a new rug, got a candle, got some towels. I got those from Kohl's. And in the laundry room, I'm trying to finish this up. So I cleaned this really good yesterday. We had put these shelves up and you guys know that I this kind of bathroom is like all based off of my grandma's painting. Like I just love the, okay, my laundry's not done, but it's clean. So we've based the laundry room like off of my, the picture that my grandma painted and we put these shelves up and this was my grandma's that my mom gave my grandma and then this was my mom's that I broke when I was a little girl <laughs> and then she fixed and gave it to me. And then I got this at a decor store in town and the reason why I loved this was this looks just like my grandma. She had so many things like this in her house that it looked just like her so I got that and I'm trying to find some like little wood picture or something to go like right here but I didn't find any in town I ended up getting some flowers I'm gonna cut down and put out of this so I'm getting it together and it's just so fun it feels good to like be spring cleaning the sun is out today and we're getting some work done okay I think I'm finished or at least as much as I can do are you guys ready to see this oh wait hold on there's one thing Okay, now are you ready to see this? Calvin, are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> that's my boy. A lot of stuff hasn't changed on the outside. It's mostly like under here yeah. that's changed. I did a lot of organization and everything and I got boxes and everything. So it's not just like packed in there. So let me show you one that I did. So this cupboard is much more organized now. I have like a cubby for just about everything like lightning cables, micro USB cables, and then like active GoPro stuff. And then like DSLR and all that stuff under there. And then what I thought was pretty cool, I don't know. I don't, I'm not into this kind of stuff, so I don't know if it looks good, but I think it, it feels better and it might look good too. I got these tiny rugs, these area rugs, and I just thought that it would help dampen the sound a little bit. And it actually, these rugs are almost identical to that rug out there, which I thought was nice. And then the blue I thought went pretty well together. So are you all done in there, bud? Good. And then this all is just like cleaned off and polished and the ground is polished and everything. So it just is clean. It's much easier to get through and get to stuff and I want to keep it this way. So that is the goal. If you see in future videos that it's a mess, let me know and keep me in line. Keep me in check guys. Okay, now for dinner. What a peaceful night so far. Calvin and Jackson are both in bed and now the night is ours. <laughs> so I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy what Ellie had to say. She really wants to make this a very personal to her type of experience where she conveys to you guys how she's feeling because she wants to be able to look back on this. So I hope you guys enjoy that and I'm excited. I'm very excited to see how what the future holds for us and it's gonna be a really great day. Crazy story real quick. I saw that my brother Matt, he's in New York still and he was actually able to go to the Samsung event tonight and I guess he saw Devin Supertram, Dan from What's Inside and Shondra. So I wish I was there. Matt, that's awesome. Hey guys, I hope you had a good time. I'm kind of excited about the Galaxy S8. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to see if I can try and get my hands on one. No guarantees. But thanks for watching guys and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.